this one is for you. Much if the literary sky fell. But to be sung, Thomas Wangwa, hilarious and be no more. I cried in my sleep. I cried on the phone. No solace found. I packed my bags and left the US of A. Abandoning chores, motherly and more. But I write this poem, Tom, because of memories of yesterday. Memories flickering in my mind, bearing elusive petals of life. Your smiles, sandwiched between quaff sideburns, betrayed passions not deeply buried. I write because of creative juices infused, the seminal dregs of your productive mind, giving me a new lease on life after my dual bed of sorrow. You focused on art, your chosen love, Unlike Bumakos, Chakara Law, or Belasone de Pocos, Ngaso leave me. You paved the telehighways for some like me, some like Banati, Mungie, Lamia. Then you hid behind the camera, master director, humility frothing like palm wine on a dewy morning. Yes, I write, Tom, to celebrate the artist in you, the flame burning in the flame pit players. I am a vista from the past, and in pain, I remember. I remember seminal dregs, succession in Sarkov, our cousin, what God has put asunder, holiday jamboree, and more. But my favorite Tom was through a film darkly. I can still see you playing Ado or braiding John, played by Tangwa, for throwing away Rebecca's love, Rebecca played by Vanessa Sona. You were not acting, Tom. You were yourself. The you that feels the pain for others. Eyes closed, voice stuttering, uh, emotions overflowing. Yes, Tom, I write because I remember. I write as an anecdote to your creativity. I write as a footnote to your history. I write to create a dream in this total, total nightmare. I write to remember the past from this agonizing present. Rest in peace, director. Rest in peace, producer. Rest in peace, actor. Rest in peace, mentor. Rest in peace, friend.